Former U.S. Senator is speaking out after being sexually assaulted while jogging this week. Former Arizona Senator and U.S. Air Force Colonel Martha McSally says that she was attacked by a man while she was running along the Missouri River on the Iowa-Nebraska border on Wednesday. Senator McSally says the, the attacker groped her, but she fought back. And police have now arrested a 25-year-old Nebraska man in connection with this attack. We are joined now by Senator McSally. I am so sorry, but I am so grateful that you're sharing what happened. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me on, Natasha. Can you walk us through what happened and what was going through your mind during the attack? Sure. So I was I was there to give a speaking engagement, ironically, about how to live and lead with a brave heart. And an hour prior, I made a little video on the bridge. I just realized this morning that I was going to post about that and some thoughts about it. And I was running in this, you know, usually safe place. And next thing I know, I am engulfed by this man. He attacked me from behind. He jumped me and he just started molesting every part of my body and i just sprung into action and and fought and got him off me and screamed and he then started running and I, I, my reaction was like you're not gonna f and get away from that get away with this and i just went after him i threw my water bottle at him and i just started chasing him and not necessarily the smartest thing to do but it's you know fight flight or freeze i just chose to fight and I kept screaming at him with a lot of profanities. You're, you're not going to have to get away with this. You bleep, bleep, bleep. And he then tried to, as I was chasing him down, turn into some very deep brush off to the left of the bridge. And I continued to follow him while I was calling 911 to get the police there. And I was just trying to keep him in my sight. And I kept screaming at him, you won't get away with it. They're on their way, not today. And he it went into the brush, I followed him into the brush, and then I lost sight of him, and I was almost over my head. And if the police had showed up, they wouldn't have seen me. So I disengaged. I realized I wanted to obviously keep myself safe. I, you know, control my breathing and just kind of wait. And I kept screaming at him, not today. I was just speaking it into existence. You're, you're just not going to get away with this. And unfortunately he was able to sneak out in that brush and i'm so grateful for law enforcement and all the detective work they did to pick him up and arrest him um donald hinton i told you you weren't going to get away with it and you're not going to hurt any other women and now he's locked up i mean i am so struck by this story that you were so vocal that you yelled you followed him i mean were you just determined that he was not going to get away with this yes it was again it was a reaction it wasn't a decision it, it just there was something ignited inside of me i'm a former you know survivor of previous sexual abuse and sexual assault and back then i i didn't speak up i didn't take my power back and heal until many years later like many of your viewers men and women but i've done that work over the years that prepared me for this moment where i just wasn't going to let him hurt me and assault me any further than he already did. And I wasn't gonna let him be on the streets to hurt somebody mm. else. That was my mission in the moment. I was freaking out, just to be clear. I mean, yeah. I was freaking out, but I was focused on, you know, it stopping him. I mean, clearly, I don't think he saw what was coming. Um, and, and I know that you said that the attacker tried to take power from you, but you turned it on him. He was trying to mm -hmm. escape from you. Do you know exactly where that strength came from inside of you? It, you know, it came from, I think, years of me kind of doing the inner work from being a survivor of previous sexual assault and abuse where I didn't have that power until years later. I mean, I am a fighter pilot, but I'm, you know, I'm a warrior, but, you know, I'm not, I'm five foot three, I'm 125 pounds, you know, I'm uh, small. Uh, I'm not a, you know, black belt, but I just, it was inside me. It wasn't the physical strength. I was just like, no, not today, not me again, not in this place, not on my watch. It's not going to happen. And I just, like, I spoke into existence exactly, screamed it, that he was going to be caught. And thank God he was. Yeah. Tell, tell me more about that. What is the update on the investigation? Do you believe that they have found the right person? And do we know anything oh. about him being a repeat offender? 100%. So I gave them a very detailed description and often victims struggle in the moment because of what happens to you neurologically to remember in detail what they looked like. And I gave them very detailed description. They then went through surve surveillance and it was harrowing and chilling to see that he had been following me.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.